Hi friends, I'm Erin, and this is Erin Go Read. It's time! Autumn is here, and October is almost here. It is time for Victober, or Victorian October. So if you are not aware, Victober is a month where we focus on reading Victorian books. So these are books written from British authors during the reign of Queen Victoria. Um, I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for this particular um, readathon uh, read because this was the first readathon that I ever participated in um, with BookTube and that was last year and it was great fun. I think prior to that the only Victorian book I had ever read was Wuthering Heights, which was in high school. Don't have super great fond memories of that. I actually remember very little of it from um, from high school. I have more of a sense of the book from an episode of Friends where Phoebe and Rachel join a book, uh, book group. Victober is hosted by four lovely booktubers, Kate Howe, Katie at Books and Things, Ange at Beyond the Pages, and Lucy the Reader. They uh, each have announcement videos. They all will have various <coughs> Victober content, including their TBRs. I've seen a couple of them so far. Um, and then, so uh, there are some challenges associated with these. I'm not going to go into great depth of all those. You can uh, look at their announcements, not announcement videos for that information. I'm just going to go with what I'm reading and tell you what the challenges uh, they satisfy. So I will, I don't plan on only reading Victorian literature. Uh, in October, I would like to do some spooky kind of reading, some just more autumnal feeling um, Halloween type books. So let's get started. The group book this year is two are two plays by Oscar Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest and A Woman of No Importance. And this is a bind up of Oscar Wilde's plays by uh, Vintage. This is a vintage Red Spine classic, and both of those plays are contained in this bind up. Another of the challenges is to read uh, an underrated book published in the same year as one of your favorite books. So I really, on the Oscar Wilde track here, I really enjoyed The Picture of Dorian Gray when I read it last year, and that was published in 1890. And on my Kindle, I am going to read Gloriana or The Revolution of 1900 by Lady Florence Dixie. Um, and that was published in 1890, and I was able to find that um, on Kindle for just a couple dollars. That also satisfies reading uh, the challenge of reading a uh, female author, and particularly a female author that is new to you. Another book that will satisfy um, the challenge of a female author and a female author who is new to me is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um, although most of us are probably very aware of the general gist of the Frankenstein story. If you haven't seen Young Frankenstein, the Mel Brooks movie, it is amazing. Um, but I've never actually read the book. It also satisfies another challenge of a book being under 250 pages, as this is. I will probably save Frankenstein for later in the month during Spookathon, which is a, a spooky readathon hosted by Kayla at Books and Lala. The book that I am officially choosing as the book under 250 pages is Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. This one is another vintage Red Spine classic. And this one is highly recommended by Kate Howe. I've heard her talk about this multiple times in various Victober videos that she's done in the past. It's supposed to be quite humorous, so it might be a nice kind of palate cleanser between some of the other heavier things that I'll be reading. And among those heavier things is a book that I mentioned earlier and that is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I am very slowly collecting these. I have maybe about 10 right now, and um, it's great to collect really beautiful editions of books, but I think it's also important to actually read those books. And I think especially when a book feels a little bit daunting um, or uh, a bit more of a challenging read, having a really nice edition for me, kind of, um, I guess it's just the consumerist in me, the materialist in me, uh, it makes me a little bit more apt to kind of want to get into that book because I have such a nice physical book with which to read it. So those are the five books that I hope to get to during the month of October. I might also look into maybe an audiobook that I can get. Um, I've never read any Anthony Trollope or Thomas Hardy. Um, there are so many great Victorian authors um, and classics to be discovered. So I might have to peruse either Audible or Overdrive to look for a good audiobook selection for October. 
I would love to know if you are participating in Victober. If you are, what's on your TBR? Do you have any rereads? Do you have any particularly challenging books on your TBR for Victober? Thank you for watching. See you around the tubes. Thank mm -hmm. you.